Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> I hope you're really finding value in what we're doing. I'm just loving this. I think this is such a great way to start your business. So today we're going to talk about building relationships. It's actually my favorite. Um, through personal mess private messages, Instagram, Facebook, and using Instagram stories and Facebook stories and stuff like that. So, um, so, so, so important to start building relationships. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we do, and I'm actually going to give you guys a sheet that we have used. It's a tracker sheet and it shares with you how we build relationships. This is a great way to keep track of people and you will, I will upload it. So you guys have it in the group, but this is a lot of this stuff is done behind the scenes, okay? So the first category would be compliment and run. What does that mean? It means you go to people's pages that you are friends with and you compliment them and that's it. So if they have a picture up of their family, you compliment it. If they have a cute dress on, you compliment them. Guys, and you're doing this from the heart. It's not doing it because it's a to-do. It's, hey, I want to build a relationship with this person. This person's really cool. I love her. Or I could see myself being friends with her. You go to their page and compliment, and that's it. Then you put their name down in this, okay? Then the next thing that you're going to do is thank people for their support. So you're going to, some of your pictures that you have been posting lately, your lifestyle pictures or your fitness pictures or whatever, you're gonna go to those people that are liking them and you're just gonna thank them for their support. What I like to do is say, hey girl, thanks so much for your love on my page or your love on my post. It really means a lot to me. It's not always easy to put myself out there. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much or something like that. Or keep it up. I really love seeing your face pop up. Like simple things. You're going to be yourself in the thank you, so you might change it up a little. But this is what actually builds that connection. And people are so, like, I have people writing me back like, no, thank you for the post that you're doing. I really love that you're starting this new journey. Or you really love that you're so positive. Or da 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 And it starts that conversation. So when they do that, I can say, oh, thanks so much. I really appreciate that. Are you on a health and fitness journey too? And what does that do? When I ask them that, it gets us into the conversation where I can maybe invite them to one of our groups, maybe a free group or something that could actually help them. So that's how that connection starts, okay? So that's compliment and run and then the thank you for the support. And then once you're thanking someone, you write their name down. Now those people may not respond to you and that's okay, they're still watching you. They're still on your page because you're posting every single day and they're watching, okay? So those are the two biggies that I want you to use when you are building a relationship with people. Another way to build a relationship with people is by your posts, asking questions. Hey, you know, there's, there's like, you can write out a little um, question in one of those pretty colors now on Facebook, which is really cool. So what I would do is ask a question, spark conversation. You could ask a question about their kids, like, hey, any kids out there, um, do your kids like to eat vegetables? And have them comment. And then you could start having a conversation back and forth on your page in the post, right? And then bring it into a private message, like, hey, what are your tips of, how, how do you get your kids to eat, eat vegetables? Because uh, mine don't, you know? So asking questions, and I'm gonna share a lot of examples below, but um, asking questions is huge, huge. Um, another thing that's really important to do is to make sure every time you do post, you're connecting with people. This dog is like biting my hand right now. You're connecting with people um, below. You're not just posting and running away. So if people are commenting, you're thanking them. You're, li you're liking their comments. You're talking to them on your page. The more conversation you can have on your page, the better. The next thing you can use is Instagram stories and or, or Snapchat or Facebook stories. Now don't get overwhelmed. If you're not on Instagram, we'll get you over there. You're gonna do the same thing that you do on Facebook. 
But Instagram stories, I'm gonna include a training on that in here. And Facebook stories or Snapchat really helps you get yourself out there in a personal way where they get to see your daily actions. They get to see you popping in the workout. That's when you can show them a little of what workout you're doing, where you're not blasting it on your page, but you're showing it in the stories of Instagram. That's when you can ask people questions on there. People will respond and you get into that back and forth private message conversation. So this is so huge, guys, that you really need to focus on um, doing this because these are where the relationships are built. Instagram stories, um, Facebook stories, all the behind the scenes. You show your daily life. Show them how you can fit in coaching. Show them when you're fitting in coaching. Just take a little picture of your little workspace. Say, and then you're off to work. You know, show them that you're getting your workout in or the meal that you're having, okay, in, in your stories. Ask them a question like, hey guys, I'm really struggling with this. What do you think? What would you do? Or, Hey guys, um, I have these sneakers. Which ones do you like better? Like just sparking that conversation, okay? Um, but that's done behind the scenes and it's also done on your page, but it's the most important part of your business. So you guys, I'm gonna ask you guys to print these out and you're gonna put names in these slots like compliment and run slot, the thank you for the support slot. There's a slot for new clients. Your new clients are people you're adding to your page every single day, okay? So people that are added, um, that, are, that you are friend, well, that you know, that you have requested to add. So I would say three people a day, okay? You're gonna request them to add you as a friend. These are people that you maybe went to school with, that you're friends with your cousin that you used to hang out with when you were young that you used to work with or that you um you know used to be friends but you just haven't found them on facebook they could be suggested friends you guys have so many people that you haven't even friended because probably you were like me before you never wanted to friend anyone or accept anyone's friend request right that's how i was because i wasn't running a business i didn't want anyone to know my business but it's different now. You have to go at it where I want to help people. I want to love on people. And you know what? It's okay. It's okay to accept people. It's okay to put yourself out there because that is what is going to bless you abundantly in this business. Okay. So adding people to your network every day. So that's three people. So you friend request three people. Um, and then inviting, and we're gonna to get to that on another day, but we're gonna start a free group at the end of this and you're gonna to invite to that because it's so easy to invite to a free group, right? Why not? Because you're inviting, you're giving them free value, you're gonna pour into their lives and they're gonna come out a better person. So when you invite to a free group, there's no, you don't get scared about it. You're not nervous because it's easy, it's free. Everyone wants a part of that, right? And you're gonna offer so much value that they're gonna fall in love with what you have to offer them. So I'm excited for what's to come and I'll see you guys in a little bit.